But yeah, they came to me and said, you welded, you welded it incorrectly. And I'm looking at them and I'm like, what do you mean I welded it inc incorrectly? The weld is beautiful, the weld is strong, the weld is perfect. But I didn't know, like I said, the angling was way off. So this video is actually a very important video because that weld job you saw me do on that floor scraper, or you might call it something different, but basically I was I was told to fix this floor scraper and that was it. I didn't I didn't know any other specifics about the item. I was just told here, can you fix this? I said, yeah, I can fix that. So as you guys saw in the previous video, I went ahead and welded that scraper the way I thought it had broken. But in reality, and this is why I say this is important because in reality, um, I actually welded it incorrectly. The, the handle was, I welded it like this, but it was supposed to be like this. And I didn't know that because, you know, I just, like I said, I thought that it snapped there and I said, okay, we'll fix this and that's that. But this way it's good. You guys can see that we all make mistakes and that fix in order to fix that mistake ended up basically taking me half a day. So something that could take that should have been quick ended up prolonging a lot of time. So, and then on top of that, when I was finished with it, because I kind of woke up, I didn't really eat anything. I was just like, I got to get this done. And I guess I wasn't thinking too straight. And I actually didn't even have to cut my, my original weld that I, that I'd done the first time. I just kind of had to, um, cut the the piping leading to the handle and then angle it higher up which I only realized after I had cut my old weld and re-welded it so the whole thing is it it still works it's just really Frankenstein now which is they don't care they just want it to work so that's fine but it just shows you that we all make mistakes and I figured that this is a very important video to put out uh, for that sake. But anyway, take a look, guys. Let me know what you think, Mr. SFM. Peace. So here we are with the scraper again. You guys can see that was my previous weld there, nice and strong. But uh, like I said, I didn't know that that handle had to be positioned up. So at this time in the morning, my best guess was to cut that old weld and try and position it up with the cutting disc here. And as you can see, I've cut it right in half. And later on, um, and also I clean it up with a flappy, like you said. But later on, I realized I didn't even need to cut that weld. Or this weld that I'm showing you now, I could have just left it and actually just cut the handle and positioned it up. But nonetheless, I'm just showing you guys that we all make mistakes here. And I also extended this hole to fit that bolt just because I thought that it had to come down a little bit. That's just me with the drill bit rounding it off. So this is this is it after I've actually welded everything and cut the handle. You can see the, the top weld on the handle there is where I actually cut it on the piping. And you can see it's positioned differently now. I also welded it underneath too. I put a bead down there and grind it down a little bit, which also didn't need to be done but that would just mean that it's extra strong now. You can also see that the, where the square part is, is kind of seated on the actual item now, which I didn't want, but that's okay, we can make it work. And you can see the angle is a lot greater now. You can just stand up and that's how it should be. And that's basically it. You guys can see in this next clip here, the angle of the handle is way higher than what it used to be. It taught me a lot though, because what I ended up just doing was um, what I ended up doing was just a three-fourths cut on the piping handle and then reimbursing it all the way around which I originally should have done I shouldn't have cut my original weld but you live and you learn and now it's done as you guys can see and now it's uh, sitting at the correct angle which again like at the beginning I didn't know it was supposed to be sitting like this the welds are definitely uglier and the piece looks pretty funny now but at least uh 
the functionality is still there and uh, it's completed as it should be. And don't forget guys, we all make mistakes. We just have to fix them.